Street in New York City. Let's give it up for Isaac Conco. Today is the first day of our new talk show, so make sure you know. First off, give our announcers some love from WBLS, Deja Vu. <laughs> now, a lot of y'all know me, and a lot of y'all might know Coco, mm -hmm. but where from? That's the question. People are like, well, I know Ice. So, how many people know me from SVU? How many people know me from New Jack City? Yeah. Music? Yeah. Well, well let, me, let, me explain, let me explain who I am so we can get it out there. Because, you know, there's people watching this show that probably have no idea who the hell Ice and Coco are. No. You know what I'm saying? But basically, I'm a rapper. I started out rapping. I was born in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> I moved to uh, Los Angeles after my parents passed. I was mm -hmm. orphaned at 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I went to live with my aunt in L.A. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, I became part of a lot of the, the L.A. gang scene. Uh, was involved in that, heavy. Got involved in crime. I was mm -hmm. just pretty much going down a road to destruction. Mm -hmm. uh, then hip-hop came along. And I started mm -hmm. to rap about the things that I was living, and I invented a genre which we now call gangster rap, okay? That's... <laughs> Biggie Small, uh, Tupac, Jay-Z, Lil' Kim, all of us gangster rappers. God bless them. <laughs> all right? And from there, I got a chance to uh, be in a movie uh, called Breakin'. Y'all remember the movie Breakin' back in the day? That was old school. Which eventually got me into another movie called New Jack City. That led to, uh, oh, there me... you go. There's some pictures yeah, right there. Yeah, some pictures of me and Judd Nelson doing our thing. After, after the movies, uh, I was very fortunate. I got a call to actually be in television shows. I was in a show by Dick Wolf called New York Undercover. Do you remember that one? Right? Mm -hmm. Simultaneously, I had started a rock band called Body Count. <laughs> and I guess, you know, the television route ended me up on Law & Order SVU, which I've been on for 17 years. Yeah. That's right. OK. Coco, now's your turn. Okay. Break it okay, down. OK, that was like a long-ass list going yes, I've on. I've been around for a minute. I don't, I don't have that list, but mine is basic. OK, for those that don't know me, I'm 36 years old, and I started modeling at 18 years old. Yes, I was a... <laughs> I was a little chickety then. Mm -hmm. And um, that went into fitness competitions. And then that went into a little bit of acting. Yes, I did some acting back in the days. And well, you acted on Law & Order a couple times. She I actually, actually was did on three SVU three times. Me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three different times, yes. You know, I've just been having fun with the entertainment world. Um, but I was mostly a businesswoman. I have my own uh, clothing line, my own pleasure product line. <laughs> And then just most recently, you know, after Ice Loves Coco. Who watched Ice Loves Coco? <laughs> yes. After three seasons of that, which was great, and we had tremendous feedback from that, I went to Vegas and had my own Vegas show at Planet Hollywood called Peep Show for 10 months. So, yeah, there's a picture. So um, that just recently happened, but really, at the end of the day, I want to say, I might be this businesswoman, but really, I'm a wife. This is my, this is where my heart is. I got the dogs. That's all secondary, but really, this is where my heart is. At. at 15 years, almost 15 years, we've been together. Yeah. 
trying to make me blush or something. I know. I'm trying to see the ice <laughs> break up here. So basically, people are asking, they say, why do you think you can do a talk show? Well, honestly, mm -hmm. we didn't think we could do a talk show. Other mm -hmm. people did. You know, after the success, <laughs> really, after the success of Ice Loves Coco, they said there's only one place for you to go is mm -hmm. talk show. And mm -hmm. it's like to bring down one other level of reality. Reality is still a level there that yeah. you can't. Now you get to talk with us, you get to interact with us, you can Have touch fun. the dogs, it's going crazy, you know? Yeah. So we're trying to do that for y'all. Can you feel that? Yes. We're, gonna, we're trying to take the talk show to a new level. So this is the new level. The new level might be a new low. We don't know. <laughs> you know, That's but true. what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Try. This is an experiment, and you guys mm -hmm. are part of it. So thank you for, so much for being here, okay? Thank you. Now, people always say to me, they say, they say, well, Ice, mm -hmm. why do you try so many things? Why do you have so many mm -hmm. things? And I live by this joke, and mm -hmm. I, I told this joke in Ice Loves Coco, but I'm gonna mm -hmm. tell it to y'all right now. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a philosophical outlook on life from my perspective. Right. It starts like this. Mm -hmm. There was a preacher, and he was standing in a flood. And a boat came by. And it, they said, preacher, preacher, get in the boat. He said, don't worry about me. Women and children first. I'll be OK. <laughs> and that boat left. Mm -hmm. Water was up to here. Another boat came by. They said, preacher, will you please get in this boat? He says, hey, I'm OK. I'm here to save the city. Y'all go. That boat left. Water came up to here. Another boat came. They said, preacher, please get in the boat. He said, don't worry about me. I'm doing the work of the Lord. I'll be OK. And the preacher drowned. OK? So he gets to heaven. He sees an angel. He says, can I speak to God? And he says, sure. So he went to God, and he says, God, can I ask you a question? He said, yeah. He said, I never spoke your name in vain one time. And God says, true, and I love you for that. He said, I went to church seven days a week, sometimes twice a day. And God says, true, and I love you for that. And he said, God, I love you with all my heart. And he says, I love you too. And he said, well, then why'd you let me die? And God said, let you die, dumbass. I sent you three boats. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral... <laughs> the moral to the story is what? The moral to the story is a lot of times the opportunity is right in front of you, but you just didn't get in the boat. Exactly. So this is our boat, so welcome along, all right? Now. Yes, this is our boat. Because you guys are loyal SVU fans. Make some noise. <laughs> loyal Ice and Coco fans. <laughs> and followed us all the way from Ice Love Coco to here. <laughs> and you are the first audience. Coco has a surprise for you. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> There's a baby. Bon. Hey, thank you very much. We'll be right back. Thank you, Boo. Congrats to you both. When we come back, Ice and Coco reveal how it all went down. Don't go away. Is it a boy or a girl? What do y'all think? And later, mom advice from Snooky. announced that Coco is pregnant. <laughs> wow. It's so bizarre. Because, you know, Ice and I, we've known this, you know, and we it was hard to, like, even announce it to family and friends. Our friends didn't even know. Yeah, we've been keeping it a secret. Yeah, we've been keeping it a secret. And do you guys remember Solji from, from Ice Loves Coco? He was my assistant. He's, okay. he's actually sitting over there. He works there. with Coco every day, so we had to... You know, we was like, okay, Soldier can't know, because we, we wanted to save it up for the day and see his reaction. Do we have Soldier's reaction? What's the Soldier's reaction? 
hold this. It's built. Oh, look. <laughs> I, I, it's still sinking in. It's still sinking in. It's sinking in. Look, now that's hitting him. It's hitting him. It's hitting him right there. <laughs> we actually did a full tour. We just came back from Europe. We did a whole tour. Nobody mm -hmm. knew Coco was pregnant. I did photo shoots. Everything. No one knew I was pregnant. And it's been so, you know, mm -hmm. homeless secret like this mm -hmm. is crazy and stuff. And if you hadn't known, you would have heard about it. You know, the internet is instant. You right. know, right now it's all over. I know already. But I'm saying is that <laughs> just to keep it this long, all the people that did know mm -hmm. in our mm -hmm. circle, we'd like to thank you all for holding mm -hmm. it down. You dig what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> like my mom and dad, brothers, sisters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but um, I, I want to put it out there because people are like, wait, how, how, why did it take so long? Like, people don't understand, and they're always in my, my area in your about that. He likes to say Kool Aid. Kool Aid means area. <laughs> so when you hear him say that, <laughs> yes, but they're all in my Kool Aid all the time. <laughs> so what happened was, you know, we've been together for, you know, this coming year will be 15 years, and really it had nothing to do with ice at all. Everybody was like, it was probably ice, you know, he doesn't want to do it. But really, it was me. It was like my businesses came first. I always wanted my career or whatever I was doing first. And then later on in life, I thought the magic number was 35. I always wanted a child at 35. So I, all, I waited for a reason. But the thing is, what we did is I called my gynecologist. And, and I said, so what do I need to do? Now, mind you, I've been on the pill for 17 years. I want to get this straight with girls, because they put it in my head that you should freeze your eggs, you're getting older in age, you know, if you're on the pill too long, you won't be able to get pregnant, but this is, I'm gonna set the record straight. I was on the pill for 17 years. My gynecologist said, get off the pill, it's gonna take about a year for your body to regulate. So here, just recently, I just, I got off the pill and um, literally right away, boom. Well, I told you I could make a baby, I told her I could make a baby through a brick wall. That's not a problem. <laughs> Don't worry about me. So they told her a year. How long did it take? Uh, well, like a month and a half. Say it again. A month and a half. Testify. A month, a month and a half. Yes. So it was a pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, for so long, people just put stuff in your head, and you're really like falling into it. Like, well, maybe I can't do it. Maybe I'm getting too old. But really, I thought this was the perfect time. And Ice and I talked that we knew what we wanted. We went for it, and we got what we want. So I just, I'm so blessed. Baby, I'm so blessed. Now, I know the next question is, the next question is, is it a boy or a girl? What do y'all think? If you make some noise and raise your hand up if it's a boy. That's a lot. How about a girl? It's well, a girl. It's, it's a, a girl. girl. <laughs> Already got a name. Already got a name. We named the baby. The, the girl's name is Chanel. Yes. Little Chanel. Little Chanel. And another thing is people are like, well, how many, how far along let's are see. you? Let's see. Can you guess how long? Step up, boo. OK. Wait, should I take off my jacket? Take your jacket off. Let's see. We've been doing all kind of cute dressing to try to shade, but here it is. Okay. Okay. Look at this thing. Turn sideways. How many months? Two. Four. Three. She said two. Two. All right, go and tell them. I am 21 weeks. I'm over five months. <laughs> hey. Yes. As we say in the hood, <laughs> as we say in the hood, it just got real up in this bit. <laughs> we'll be right back. Deja Vu, what's happening? How's it going on up in here right now, y'all? Hollywood power couple Tamar Braxton and Vince Herbert are here. And later, what do Sarah Jessica Parker, Michael Jackson, and a cute puppy have in common? Stay tuned. premiere of Ice and Coco. She's a Grammy-nominated artist and co-host of The Real. And he's an entertainment powerhouse. 
Give it up for the Hollywood power couple. Tamar Braxton and Vince Herbert. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You feel like a powerhouse when he's sitting right next to you? Well, I always feel my safest when he's next to me. That's yes. fly. Yeah. That's fly right there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, girl. Me I, too. I watch you on The Real. Well, I love you, and I watch you on You Guys Show, and I love it so much. It's so cute. Thank, Thank you. You guys remind us, like, kind of of each other. Like, really? you, like Ice, like, really embraces who you are. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. He lets you be who you are, like, totally. unapologetically. Mm -hmm. And Vince does, too. Does but he? he also checks me. And I love that about oh, yeah. Ice, too. He definitely checks me. <laughs> yeah. That's he, true. He does not hold back. But he right? let you go with your sister to do that fashion show. He was supportive. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I always think, like, you know, what would she do if she wasn't with me, you know? And I'm not here to put a lot of no's in the game, right. you know? If, if I'm going to say no, it's going to be a serious reason, and I should mm -hmm. be able to explain it to her mm -hmm. fully, you dig? Exactly. So we try to keep it real loose and right. happy. Because I think, as a woman, she needs her accolades. She mm -hmm. needs her Absolutely. wins. I don't need to try to take credit for her wins. Right. That's her win. So oh, I want yes. her to get it all alone, you dig? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you guys been together? Well, 12 years, okay. but we've been married seven this year. And how many kids? We have one. You Pretty just nice. heard about Coco, huh? Yes, I just heard about Coco. Congratulations, <laughs> I'm Thank so happy you. for you. It's very interesting. It's yeah, like, girl. I've been trying to hide it for so long. I'm like, okay, people, this is a nerve-wracking like, yeah. day. People are actually gonna know? I hid mine, too, until I was seven months. Really? Yes, it was stressful. Because you could put baggy clothes you yes. know, and all that to kind but of But girls that are sexy like you, we're not used to seeing you in baggy clothes. <laughs> I know. So people are like, what's really going on? What's yeah. going on? I can see the booty, but what's happening? I can't really see anything. I, yeah, like when I wear pants, no one can tell, actually. Yeah. It's, you look it's, great. Thank you. Well, how has it been? Do you feel like um, Invasions of the Body Snatchers? Because that's how I felt. It just, it seems weird because it feels like an alien, like, uh -huh. running around in there. It's yeah. very active, and yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, what was that? Oh, it'll my God. A, the, it'll be the greatest thing you guys have ever done. It's like, really? it, having a kid for us is really, really understand what life is about. Right. We wasn't living before Logan, but now we're living. It's true, but before that, it's a whole bunch of lies and stuff. Don't believe nothing nobody tell you. Only believe what I tell you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> did, did, you did you have a smooth pregnancy? I had a smooth pregnancy, right? Okay. And I have four sisters, okay. and each and every one of them lied. I, like, they lied to they take like, I right. was so upset all the time. Like, why didn't you tell me this was going to happen? Right. Oh, it's not that bad. Lies. Uh -huh. It doesn't hurt that bad. Lie. Oh. You know, I'm I mean, I've never been this hungry right. in my life. Like, really? What? I was hungry <laughs> through my back. Like, what's <laughs> happening? I like, just ate 30 minutes ago. But she happened. lost weight. Really? Yeah, that was the weird thing. Everybody said I gained. I actually went on tour. I lost 10 pounds. Did you have morning so, sickness or something? No, no oh, morning really? sickness. I, I mean, didn't either. No, it's like, it's a really strange thing because I'm waiting for that moment that I feel pregnant because I don't oh, feel pregnant. Oh, that greed gonna kick in. It's gonna kick, I know, I know. <laughs> but you know, I'm very interested, especially the labor part, because I really don't want to go through that, but who want, right. wants to go through that part? Let me tell you, know? you about it, though. Okay. You really want to know? I do. Okay. Tell me, tell me so about it. So first of all, I hurt. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you, right. gonna, are you gonna use drugs? Yes. Yes. Anything. <laughs> any technology. Yeah. Any technology. Yeah. See, I'm, all, I'm not about all Coco natural. was like, pick me up from the house and bring me back with the baby yeah. done. Like, yeah. wake me up, the baby's right, here, okay. Samara was like, you know, you should go as natural as possible. I'm like, so what's, did they give you a Chanel bag? They give you a uh, right. certificate? Yeah. The, yeah. No certificate? No. Oh, no, I'm using drugs, baby. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So I did okay. that, and it's, so it's not like the drugs you think, because, you know, at first, mm -hmm. when I was pregnant, I craved apple martinis the whole entire time. Really? Isn't that evil? Wow, that yes. is evil. <laughs> I couldn't have it. So I was looking forward to the birth. I'm like, guess right. I'm about to get finally turned yes. out. That lies. No, <laughs> don't no. tell me this. I'm telling you, it feel like Novocaine <laughs> wearing off. <gasps> don't believe them. Oh, no. Right. It's, it's so you not, have to constantly be it's it's just, telling it's it. It's just bad. I couldn't scratch my legs. I'm scratching other places. Like, I couldn't feel, you know, Nothing. it was very numb. It was wrong. <laughs> it, was, it was weird. Now, Logan is too? He's yeah, too. He's you take him on tour with you? I do. He goes He goes out a lot with us. But this week, mm -hmm. he's with his grandmother. They're having grandson right. week. <laughs> yes, okay. Logan, Logan is a little advanced. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he knows that, you know, he's, he comes from a singing family, yeah. but he doesn't want anybody
everybody to sing. Yeah. So, like, if I start singing, it's ABCs with him. He's like, no, 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 no. Only no Logan's singing. singing. No, no singing. singing. <laughs> yeah. No singing. Yeah. No singing. But he does sing. He does sing, but you can't sing with him. Like, he's like a solo artist. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you got, you got new music out. I do. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm very excited about it. My new single is called If I Don't Have You. Um, and the video has um, all of my real-life girlfriends in it. Nene Leakes is in it. Malika and Khadija Hawk is in it. My good girlfriend, Shatir. And my mom makes a special appearance. So oh, that's It's cool. really fun. The question is, did you bring the video? Of course I did. Y'all want to see the video? I that. <laughs> First off, let's give it a big round of applause to Tamar and Vince for showing love. Thank you, I'm ready to see that video. Yes. Let's go to the video. I love to watch pawn shows and the auction shows, and they always have weird and crazy stuff. And Coco mm -hmm. knows mm -hmm. that no matter what they cost, I can always tell before they tell the true value because I know my stuff. Billy Leroy is here. You've seen him on the Travel Channel's Baggage Battles. He goes to auctions all around the world <laughs> buying bizarre collectibles. He's mm -hmm. brought some items here today, and we're going to play a game I like to call The Ice, Ice is, is Right. OK? <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your background. Where are you from? I'm from New York City. Mm -hmm. and I was born in France, but I'm mm -hmm. from the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been dealing in antiques for 30 years. Wow. And I watch you on TV, Billy. But we about to play this game. Y'all want to play this game? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So this is called Ice is Right. And first, we need an audience member. So I got a guy. His name is Scoop, right over there. Come on, Scoop. Watch Woo! Your right. right. Each of you are going to get a set of cards that has numbers on them. You have 30 seconds to name that price. Okay. Okay? And I'm going to tell you about each item. Yes. So tell us about the item. This first item is an original acetate mm -hmm. of an original recording of Elvis Presley. Whoa. And what makes this so unique is that when Elvis recorded this, it went from the microphone through the wire onto the acetate. So this is a first generation recording okay. of the song, the first time I ever saw your face. Oh, does it have a year that it came out? What this is early 70s, about 1972. Okay. okay, that's dope. All right, I like it. All right, what's the next one? Now this is really, this is right up my alley. This okay. is French, and it's a French cavalry officer's helmet. And it's from the mid 19th century. Wow. And is this authentic or is this a replica? Because you know it's New York, they got knockoffs. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is 100% authentic from the 1850s. Wow. And what makes it so unique is this horsehair here. Mm -hmm. The horsehair prevented a saber from cutting the horse rider's head off. All right, cool. All right, we got that. You guys got that in your head? All right, let's move on to the next one. This is a Partridge Family lunchbox. Mm -hmm. there, there's a lot of these around, okay. but what makes this unique is it belonged to David Cassidy. And I... Okay. And I bought it at a charity auction, and it belonged to David Cassidy's son. Wow. So the little kid took this to school every day. So it's real, really from the family. It's really from the family, mm -hmm. and David Cassidy being the star of mm -hmm. uh, okay. the Partridge Family. Come on, get right. happy. I used to watch that in the hood. Okay, right. Right. all right. right. Are you are you thinking about your prices? I here? got. I'm, I'm, I'd already figured this whole oh, thing out. One okay. thing. All right. We'll one see thing this. you got to remember. All right. This doesn't have the thermos, so that's to something oh. to keep in mind. No thermos. Think about. Okay, right. let's go to the next one. All right. Now luggage. These, uh -huh, this is uh -huh. this is the good stuff. It's Louis Vuitton bags, mm -hmm. and they're from the 1930s, but the condition of these is absolutely oh, wow. perfect. 
And they've really traveled with those? Yes, I mean, you, you, you... I mean, I would be too scared to travel with something that expensive, well, honestly. Nowadays, they're gonna throw it in the air and let it oh. hit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's, that's why people use them. They would stack these up and use them as a coffee table. I'm ready to go. Let's try it out. Let's play Ice is Right. Go. All right, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Higher, they're saying higher. You want to switch it? Let's switch it. Confident there. I mean, I mean, I you know, you think long, you think wrong, baby. You dig what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm just going with my gut feelings on this stuff. Okay. So we'll, I mean, I could lose. Let's All right, you don't want to change them out? No, I'm not changing. I'm Still only one I'm more I'm concerned about is the record in the helmet, but we'll just see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is the most expensive thing. The ice is right, but the scoop is tight. Oh, oh. oh. let's see, scoop. Yeah. We'll see. We're gonna see play. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. All right, let's see. go. Okay, let's see. All right, let me put this down. All right, here we go. For the record, the Elvis album. Ah. Oh. Wait, is Scoop tight yet? Is Scoop tight? The reason it is that price is because this is an early 1970s recording, not an original 1950s recording. Oh. Uh -huh. That's the that's big. That's the key word. That's the clinker. This is after he got fat, right? <laughs> So it's you, not like it's cool okay. as back in the day. <laughs> next, okay. Next. Okay. Let's go to the second one. Yep. All right. Okay. So let's go with. Oh. Woo! Oh. Woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. Go on. I'm enjoying the show. The show's still good. The show's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The reason is, this is not from Napoleon the First. Okay. It's from Napoleon the Third. If it was Napoleon the First, this right. would be a twenty-five thousand dollar helmet. Wow. But it's still very cool. Got it. Okay. Ready? Okay. Lunchbox, and it is. Oh. You guys both. Oh man. Okay, okay. The, all right, now, all right, you're up there, babe. He doesn't look all right. happy. <laughs> look at you can get this. Tell us about the lunchbox. Okay. <laughs> the lunchbox, like I said, it's missing the thermos. Okay, oh. all right, okay, let's go to the last and final one. Ready? This is very exciting. Okay, here we go. Luggage is. <laughs> Woo! Oh. 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 Hi. This is cool. Okay, so we got a winner, obviously. Scoop is the winner. Yes. Explain this to me, man. Yes, of course. How is this only worth $5,000? When a new Louis bag can cost five thousand dollars, and I, this seems to be an antique, and this is mm -hmm. cooler. Mm -hmm. It is cooler, and that's why you should buy as many as you can of these. Not, and I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah, these are much cooler than the new ones. Right. But in the market, the way the market is, the used ones are not the same price as the brand new ones, even though they're made exactly the same. Mm -hmm. This has so much more mojo mm -hmm. that it's incredible. I mean, I would buy an old one over a new one any day. Oh, this yeah. is so cool. Well, I used to like this game. <laughs> Thank you so much, Billy. Yes. I appreciate you. Thanks. Coming Thanks, Scoop. Thank you so Come over here, Scoop. <laughs> Don't talk, Scoop. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. Thanks. You were Hi, everybody. That was called The Ice Thought He Was Right. <laughs> Deja vu, what's happening next? Up next, Snooky is here. Keep it right here.
Can you stand up so I can see what you look like? growing up getting wild and crazy on the Jersey Shore, and now she's a mom with two kids and a husband. Please welcome Snooki. This is awesome that you have a show, by the way. Thank you. You guys like are living it. my dream, so <laughs> do it, yeah. Well, you're on it. You're part of our Woo! dream. Yeah. So excited. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm honored here. here. I'm honored. Thank you. Yeah, last time I met you was on a Good Morning America. And yeah. You're like half asleep. I was so probably hungover, even... and I'm like, uh, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I had a crazy, yeah. Yeah. I, I was a little crazy back then. But, but since then, you were a totally changed gal. From kids, man. Kids change your okay, life. Okay, I want to hear about this, because... Uh... Um, all right, so obviously I was on Jersey Shore, so <laughs> okay. when I went on, I was 21, so I was like, all right, time yeah. to drink. Like, it was the first yeah. time I was able to go into bars, because I didn't have a fake ID, because right. nobody was as short as me, so... Okay. It was the first time I could actually go into a bar, so I literally went ham, and we all sold that on Jersey Shore. Right. Um, but once I had my kids, it was just like, all right, now I have to be responsible for this little human being. Right. I have to be a good mother, and I always pictured myself to be a good, like, fit mom. Right. So I basically just did the transformation and mm -hmm. they changed my life. Well, Which that, is going to happen to that, you. Well, Congratulations. See, thank you. Amazing. Know, it's, just, <laughs> it's so awesome. You know, um, yeah. that's what I actually have been reading your book, Baby Bumps, by the I way. I don't know if she wrote a well, book. Well, actually, yeah. Right. Like, I don't is like. Is another book? No. It's a good book, but I don't like people to read it like right when they get pregnant because it scares the crap out of you. Okay. Because I tell like I tell it how it is. Like you're gonna right. pee yourself, you're gonna poop yourself. Okay. The cramps, the mood swings, like you uh -huh. know, like a lot of um, a lot of pregnancy books, they like they dance around like what really happens. Right. I tell you exactly what's gonna happen. Okay. So well, I, I don't know about. I don't want to scare you. Well, but I do. I do agree. Yeah. When I read uh, when you you totally change as soon as you know that there's like a life form inside you. Yeah. You totally switch off, and that's what uh -huh. I did because I'm. I think I'm considered back in the day a party girl too. Yes. Everybody I know, was. I know. Yeah. But yeah. the thing is, like, I I totally switched off. Like the vodka, everything. Like you don't even want to taste it. You don't even care. Oh yeah. You want to be. But you will the like child. the eighth and ninth month. You'll be like, oh, I need a vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Like, why am I still pregnant? But yeah. like, the another thing, though, everybody's been asking, oh, my God, how is it? I mean, I'm, I'm now over halfway. And That's not even cool, because nobody <laughs> looks like that at five months. <laughs> I was a whale when I was five months pregnant. And you know no what? One looks and I like haven't that. gotten sick one time. Can so you just, I'm, I'm going, I'm breezing through Can this. you stand so up so I, I can see sick. what you look like? Yeah. <sighs> That's not normal. Like... <laughs> Look, not it was cool. up to Coco. She was like, I don't want to ever tell anybody I'm pregnant. I just mm -hmm. want to pop up with a baby. I just, you know, yeah, that was it's her happening. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I, if I saw you, I never would have thought. But then I started getting a little tummy. I'm like, people are going to know my body because a little, they know. I don't, I don't even see a little tummy. I, like, I have a bigger tummy than you. It's from wine that I had backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, by the way. Thank you for the advice. I was like, okay, wondering about your, your body change. Like, did you gain a lot of weight? My first pregnancy, I gained 50 pounds because I didn't care. I ate everything. I was like, oh, I'm pregnant, whatever. So I, I ate everything. Right. But my second pregnancy, I was actually working out, so I only gained the normal, like, 25 to 30. Right. Um, but, but to you lose lost it, it. To lose it, breastfeeding helps a lot, and that's, right. like, the number one okay. thing that your baby needs, so okay. breastfeed. Yes. I'm still breastfeeding, and my really? baby is nine months. So is I'm that normal? It is. I mean, if your baby's six, then that's weird. Okay. But, you know, once she's one, <laughs> once she's one, I want to cut it off. You brought some pics, right? I did. Yes. Let's see some pics. Yeah. Yeah. These are family pics. Aww. That's at Disney, yeah. Because you recently went to Disney. We go to just... Disney every Look at the little year. girl. Yeah. She's like, what's good? She's a little hand. I like the bow. Aww. It's her meeting um, Belle. Yeah, from Beauty and the Beast. Is there any struggles? Look at his face, he's crying. Oh my God. He's like, he's no, obsessed no, with Goofy. So he's like, I can't wait to meet Goofy. And then he sees him and he screams. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. So, <laughs> Is there um, any struggles? There's a lot of struggles. Yeah. Um, 
like for example, I am a stay-at-home mom since yeah. I'm not filming my show. So yeah. I'm basically home all the time with the babies, 24-7. Mm -hmm. So as of right now, this is like my spa day. Yeah. I'm away. Oh, this is spa day. I Here had a glass of wine. Show. I'm hanging out with you guys. <laughs> so it's nice, but I mean, it does get a little crazy being a stay-at-home mom. Like you need to make time for yourself once in a while. Because this is your job. Kids are a big thing. Oh my God, my kids are my life. Snooki, thank you for coming. Thank you. Deja Vu, what's next? Up next, we will rip the runway with man's best friend. It's going to be the cutest thing you've ever seen. We love our dog, Spartacus and Maximus. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Coco loves to dress him up. Mm -hmm. Today, we have something we like to call doggy style. We have a pet fashion designer here to show us his amazing doggy fashion. Here he is, Anthony Rubio. Well, let me tell you, I'm very excited because there's nothing more exciting to me than celebrities, mm -hmm. Hollywood, fashion, and I'm inspired by all of that glam, mm -hmm. so I decided I wanted to put it together and put it on the dogs. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna bring out Kimba, Okay. who is wearing something that was seen at the Met Gala on Sarah Jessica Parker. So I duplicated it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is all done. Oh, my God. In red silk. And oh! <laughs> and this was made, this made People Magazine. As you can see, there's the hat. <laughs> it's a hat by Philip Tracy. Um, I duplicated it on a miniature scale, and um, it, it hit the internet and it went viral. So it was just so on the internet on like who wore it better. Yeah, it was like who wore it better, and they <laughs> said the dog did. And then the question after that was which dog, and then Ooh. it got a little publicity. <laughs> but it was all lovely, and it was all well accepted. Oh and this is my God! I can't, I can't even speak. This is like something I would put on my dog, and he would let me. That's crazy. <laughs> How do you like, feel about it? Yeah, I like it. I mean, it, I mean. It looks like a lot of work went into it, and the dog is filling it. Look how the yes. dog totally. is filling it. Yes, absolutely. She took on the yes. attitude. Yes. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. What's Hi. next? What we got okay, next? Okay, next we have everybody absolutely loves Michael Jackson, the right. king of pop. So here we have Bogey with Michael Jackson's oh re my God. Um, rendition of the military jacket in red sequins. Bo and Hi, he comes with his own bubbles, the chimpanzee dressed in the matching ensemble. Oh my God. The glove is covered in real Swarovski crystals, okay, with the metallic gold braiding all around the jacket. Yeah. Okay, so next okay. we have, inspired by the movie Marie Antoinette, okay, okay. we have okay. Piper Grace, Aww. okay. In a totally encrusted outfit of crystals wow. and jewels, and that's my signature top hat design. Okay, and it's done with gold. Oh, look at that! Look at this. Hi, I like the material. Real teardrop pearls. That is really good. And this is material. ultimate bling, and as you can see, very Hollywood, right out of a movie. What kind of material is that? This is a woven um, fabric with, um, it's gold lame, and it's got a weaving in it. Lame. 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 <laughs> I just taught him that word. Ah. <laughs> Everybody nice. loves fashion. Everybody loves Madonna. Everybody loves Dolce Gabbana. Mm -hmm. So in recent times, there have been a lot of this whole thing with the Matador in ensembles. And uh, Madonna had that little accident in Britain where she tripped. Right. But I took that to the next level and put it on the dogs. So here we have two dogs, okay? We have Clover and Pixie wearing Matador outfits. Now check this work out. Oh, all of this is done necklace. by hand. This is all done by hand. It's Swarovski crystals, real pearls. Everything is hand done. The hats are handmade. Everything took weeks to make. Can you bring them over make. here? Let me see something. Yeah, yeah. She, they need to see this up close. The details are amazing. And as you can see, the dogs are very friendly. They're lovely. But I got a question. I yes. mean, it looks like all these dogs have to be carried. Can the dogs walk? They after? absolutely can walk. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, they can walk. It, the materials, you see, I, I also studied, um, I talked to veterinarians, and what happens is that the dogs have to have flexibility and it has to be um, breathable. So all the garments, <laughs> the, the garments are very flexible. The dogs can walk with them. Yeah, yeah, they, like they look good, but I don't, I don't want to carry my damn dog all day. 
no, no, no. These are lap dogs. So lap dogs. Lap dogs. Okay, let's see another one. Let's see another one. I'm asking questions. Okay. Well, People want to know these questions. Okay. Well, Ice Tea Coco was just talking about that she wants to dress your dogs and she wants to put pink on them. Oh, and here we stuff. go. And no, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I created these couture design oh, tuxedos for them. Oh, <laughs> In these metallic outfits, how do you like this? Chain mail. I like that, I like Chain that. <laughs> With, this is all about you. I studied you and I studied that you like a lot of black, yes. and silver, right. and I said it has to be something that's very masculine, it has to be very iced tea, good and boy. here you go. Max, you like that? You and like the boys it. were very good about good it. Good boy. Look at this. Yes. The boys were very good. How do you like the spikes to match the collars? I do. <laughs> Sparta, Spart, are you on the red carpet, man? It's hard to dress bulldogs because they're so wide and their necks are so wide. So, right. yes, you have to keep look, that in mind. Look. Well, it's all boy. flexible. He's the, giving you a dance and yes. a jig. Max, are Max. you on the red carpet? Yes, yes. Well, I'm so excited, Anthony, because you're going to be the exclusive stylist for our show, Ford Maximus and Spartacus. Yeah. Yes. yes. I have a few surprises up my sleeve for you guys. <laughs> hey, <Television>. Anthony. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, thank you so much for coming out here tonight, it was baby. My pleasure. That's thank awesome. you so much, for having me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll see you soon. Make some noise for Anthony. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'd like to thank all of you guys for coming to our first show mm -hmm. of Ice and Cocoa. Thank you so much. Thank you. If you want to follow us on Twitter, Coco is at Coco's World, mm -hmm. and I'm at Final Level. And mm -hmm. on my Twitter, I always do this thing called the Daily Game. Mm -hmm. And it's just my philosophy that I've been using my whole life to get mm -hmm. by. Some of it I read out of books, but mostly it just comes from my head. Today's Daily Game is don't let what you want make you not appreciate what you have, okay? Exactly. You know? You got a lot. Be appreciative. Don't worry about that. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Appreciate what you have, people. Appreciate what you have. And I got you, so boo. Much. And we got a baby. Aww, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Say peace to Deja Vu. Thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.